I was honored to, to even be uh, on the agenda and to get a chance to, to bring greetings from not only our union, the USW, but also from the workers in America, both both union and non-union, but in AFL-CIO in particular. Uh, just a few weeks before, on a Saturday in Wisconsin, we had 115,000 people uh, and uh, took over the state house and marched around for the same reasons that we have an economic collapse that was brought up by uh, Wall Street and Fleet Street, and now that they've been bailed out and they've got their big bonuses, now they're coming after workers to pay with their jobs, their health care, their education, their kids' future. I've had a great life, but I owe it to my kids and my grandkids for them to have at least as good a shot in life as I've had. So it was an honor to be there, it was an honor to be on the agenda. It was, it was inspirational to see that many people. It was fantastic, of course you're talking about Wisconsin, we, um, uh, that was, uh, come into our living rooms through the, the wonders of TV, I was amazed to see such a demonstration in Wisconsin. You know, it was, uh, it was uh, fantastic and for me, and this is what, you know, working with the USW and creating Workers Uniting and a common program is all about because it's really about the message that there is an alternative, there is an alternative to this rip-off that is taking place by the bankers and the corporate giants and workers if they unite are able to make a difference. I mean the history of the world tells us that when working people come together anything is possible. Yeah. That's what we're doing and that's what Workers Uniting is all about.